The South Korean government has announced plans to create a walking trail for civilians to enjoy along the demilitarized zone, the DMZ. The trail will offer a chance to experience at least 10 different regional cultures and is thanks to the easing of military tensions between the two Koreas. Uh, Park Ji Joon with more. One of the most heavily militarized areas in the world is going to become a place for cultural exchange. South Korea's Ministry of Interior and Safety announced on Sunday that it will create a tourist attraction along the border areas of the demilitarized zone. And that attraction, it said, will be the Korean version of the Santiago walking trail in Spain, one of the longest and most challenging hikes in the world. The ministry plans to spend 25 million U.S. dollars to create a trail 456 kilometers long. It will connect 10 cities between the Kangwa district of Incheon and Gosan County in Kangwondo province. And along the trail, visitors will have the chance to experience each region's unique culture and history, as well as the reality of the two Koreas division. Closed down schools and community centers will also be renovated for use as guest houses, restaurants, and cafes. Work on the project is expected to continue until 2022. For 65 years, the DMZ has been a highly restricted no man's land. But significant changes have been made there since the two Koreas agreed to reduce military tensions in September. They removed 11 guard posts on each side, and they've been moving to simplify the identification process for civilians who wish to enter areas near the border. According to the ministry, not only will the trail be a symbol of peace and prosperity on the Korean peninsula, but it's also expected to contribute to the local economy, attracting 1 million visitors and more than $220 million of profit a year. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.